everyone this is nikki k and this is just a little quick message i have just uploaded a little podcast preview of it's not old i did record it a while ago some of you may have been going on to my podcast listen to my extra episodes that i actually put on and as you guys know i love podcasting as well love it I love going on YouTube anyway, but I love podcasting. So I've just put a little preview of one of the episodes that I recorded. And it's a, it's just like highlights about what happened this year. And some of the themes that we could be feeling for next year. But obviously, you know, we are in weird times. And also, as we all know, we are in a completely new world. Even though this year it's felt like we are still stuck in the 2020s, the 2020s, the 2000s, or even we're going way back, the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2020s. We are in 2020s now anyway, but anyway. (laughs) But yes, so I've just, um, and also I've, on this podcast... This is just a preview, by the way. But also on this podcast, I've just, you know, more or less rounded up this year. And this year has been really weird. So, yeah, it's been weird. But it's also been, you know, I felt that a lot of us had to really look at ourselves in a way. On a, you know, on a like deeper level, spiritual level, emotional, mental all those types of levels and I feel what's going to be you know and also I feel that you know astro wise even with like the nodes being in um Gemini and Sagittarius that's really open like a, a different type of floodgate before that we had the cancer one cancer north node and that was very you know personally I found it very slow but it also it was for us to be internalizing it was a lot of internalizing and also it was about very security and family and our ambition and home but with the north node being in Saggi and gemini that was like you know we had to really be open to learn be open to do things very differently and obviously, because Neptune, whenever Neptune is involved, things get really hazy, things get really crazy. So, yeah, I feel, I, you know, if, if, if one thing to take away from that is that, you know, we it wasn't about being boxed into a corner. It was about being open to other avenues, open to teaching, open to, you know, how we communicate and if we are doing a job, things were changing, even if we didn't have, even if we didn't feel that we were in control of it. Because there was a lot of, like this year, there was a lot of um, control issues going on. And it was also, it, when you're controlling, that's also because there's, a, there's really going to be like a loss of control. So... I felt that these nodes, they actually put it out there, but obviously there was a dark side to this as well, which I do talk about in this podcast episode. So, yeah, it's just that, you know, just like a little diary, and you just have to just look back on what happened, look back how you've learnt, and, you know, look back on what we can expect for the future. And like I said before, because we are, Saturn is in Aquarius, which was traditionally ruled by Aquarius, we, you know, all of us to a point wanted to like keep the same old. What well, remember Aquarius is also ruled by Uranus, and and we had lots of these Uranus and Saturn squares happening, which is actually ruled by the sign. So there was a lot of like mental change. There was also on one hand we tried to keep to how things we want things to be, but on the other hand. Things were like really slipping from our grasp, so we had no choice but to move with the times. 
and especially because you know i'm in london from london and it's really hard in this country to move with the times because it's stuck in the past it's very rooted in tradition and it's not a bad thing because we all are traditional in our own way you know london is very multicultural very cosmopolitan you know everyone's from like even both your parents are from another background or you know you've got one parent that's from another background you know my background is jamaican so we've all got tradition you know when you're outside we're acting one way when we're at home we get back to our tradition you know so that's also like this that's also like this mutable nodal axis we had it's about being mutable it's about adapting so we all adapt we all traditional but we also all adapt but if we veer too much on one it just gets really mad it gets really crazy it makes us feel very stuck and especially in london what we saw this year was that the new was actually pushing through but the old wanted to stay and you could say it's from a different because it's because you could say i mean you can say it's from an older generation you could say you know that's just the way things are it's many things but you know next year 2022 is going to be you know we've got the nodal axis is changing in taurus and that's going to be even more interesting because we're moving away from media higher learning travel long distance short distance um you know writing speaking the law race we're not moving away from, we'll never move away from race but we're moving away from you know the north node in gemini which was all about everything to do with like media you know business contracts and but now we're and after we had to let go when it came to sagittarius like old outdated beliefs and self-values and we're now moving into the north node in taurus which is about our self-worth money how we take care of ourselves so it just will be more important and we're leaving these old values when it comes to like joint finances and being you know manipulative and controlling and so we're moving into the money sector everything that we've learned this year we're going to be implementing it when these nodes happen but i've also spoken about this year was the number five year and i did the tarot cards for it the number five which is the hierophant card and that played out majorly not with just the hierophant we also had the hierophant card was the main theme but we also had the the temperance card which was what was going on within us the temperance card is you know about moderation and you know not pushing yourself too fast because we can burn ourselves out also it was a positive like in you know it's a positive card it's a card of knowledge pouring of knowledge but we can get really caught up in the facts and the hierophant card is about you know if you if any of you seen the hierophant card it is what it is you know it's tradition it's structure it's my way or the highway but it's also about the past it's a taurus card and this year was very much a taurian year and yeah, the year of the ox too but when we went to the other cards the minor arcana when i talk i spoke about that it was being played out with the five of pentacles which is about loss we, um, the five of swords which was about you know deceit lies trying to move forward then we had the five of cups which was you know really staying in the past not seeing that there's opportunities in front of us it was very much wanting not wanting to move ahead and there's another one the five of wands as well which was a battle when it came to you know some of us keeping our jobs in our jobs with so much competition so that played out heavily and i've also got a podcast episode on that as well guys um of the five hierophant so check that out on my podcast playlist so all that i more or less cover so yeah i've just it was meant to be a very short video but it obviously it's gone on for a bit but i just wanted to say 
just thought to little promote that episode and just tell you guys a little bit what it's about. But yeah, check it out guys and let me know what you think. And yes, thank you very much for listening and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.